Hello this is Ben119 and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to get infinite rupees in Majora's Mask. And this method is a lot safer than the method that a lot of people use in speedruns. Because the method you use in speedruns you only have a two frame window to do it. But this one is, I'm not sure how many frames it is but it's really consistent. That I'll show you what happens if you mess it up as well. So let's get into it. So you want to go into the curiosity shop and you want to have gold dust or a big po on your C down and then a fish on C right. It doesn't really matter what C buttons but that's just the C buttons I prefer. So stand still and drop the fish and if you drop it in the right place Link should move backwards. And then as quick as you can talk to the curiosity shop person and show him the gold dust and then say yes and walk backwards and pull out the empty bottle as fast as you can and you should keep the gold dust and get 200 rupees then recatch the fish stand in the right position again and just keep doing it over and over now a few things I want to mention is it's very important that you don't catch the fish when you're using the bottle because it will get rid of the fish in a minute I'll show you what to do if that happens so just walk back a bit but don't walk back too much because if you do it too slow you will get rid of the gold dust and in a run that is awful because you'll have to redo the Goron race which is a massive time loss even if you're not doing a run that would probably still be very annoying so here we go one more time there you go so I uh, have 500 rupees yeah it's important to do it in groups of three to fill your wallet to 500 and then you drop it off at the bank and then you do it three more times you keep doing it until you have 5,000 rupees in the bank so then you can get the bank heart piece so you just talk to the banker and you just give him all the money then you go back in and you just keep doing it until your bank is full of money so right here on these last two examples I'm gonna show you what happens if you fail it and what you can do to fix it so on this first example here I'm going to lose the fish on purpose and I'll show you what to do. This isn't too bad, you'll lose a bit of time but it's nowhere near as bad as losing the gold dust. So say here if I do this and I just stand still and use the bottle, I'll catch the fish. I'll still get the 200 rupees though and I won't lose the gold dust which is the important thing I guess. But as you can see I've not got a fish. Now the easiest way to get another fish is go around to this shop, I always forget what the shop is called, but just go to like the main shop with the scarecrow in it and there should be a fish in the water that you can just get. I'm not sure how much time it loses, probably only about 20 seconds which would add up if obviously you made that mistake a lot. But don't worry too much if it only happens like once. Like, it's quite hard to do it perfect every time. So this time I'm going to show you what happens if you're too late on the bottle. So if you do all this and you'll talk to him too slow or you pull out the bottle too slow the empty bottle you will lose your gold dust you'll still get 200 rupees but you still lose your gold dust which is awful and there's not really anything to do about that you can't really come back from that which is a shame but it's fairly safe just make sure to pull out the empty bottle quite quick and you should get it every time this is just a little trick here if you sell something and you pause the game frame perfectly and swap it with any other item you're able to duplicate a bottle over it. That's the old way they used to duplicate bottles in speedruns, especially any percent with Pirate's Fortress. There's a new way of duplicating bottles, well not new, it's several years old, but the way we do it now is ESS duping. I might make a video on that at some point. There are other good videos on it anyway. So I hope you found that helpful uh, if you're getting into 100% or if you're just casually playing. And I think this method's a bit better in a way. Now I know it's slower than doing the main thing, but it's a lot safer. So thank you for watching. If you liked that or found it helpful, like the video and please subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.